whoever sows to please the Spirit, from the Spirit will reap eternal life. Feed your spirit today with this powerful and transforming message. Jesus was teaching and he said, the eye is the light of the body. Listen carefully. Please, please listen. The eye is the light of the body. Do you know what Jesus was saying? I hope you know Jesus was not teaching a parable. Go and Google the parables of Jesus. You don't see that story as a parable. He was giving something. He was teaching a powerful principle. That the eye, these two objects you see in front of your face, that there is a mystery. Seeing is only one of the functions. And it's simply because that's all science told you. There is a system of transporting realities to and from the realm of the spirit that only your eyes. That's why God healed every blind person he saw. There was no blind person that passed Jesus that was not healed. There were other cripples that he left them, but he was violent on blindness. There is a relationship between your eyes and your destiny. Listen, Paul became blinded by the glory of God, but God had to open his spiritual eyes to be seen first before the physical one opened. Do you know why your eye closes in the night when you sleep? This sermon was downloaded from www.spiritnerds.org. Light me, Lord. Light my life. Light my destiny. Hmm. Brothers and sisters, there are secrets in this book. When you find it, your results are not just an issue of wish. These eyes you see, let me tell you what happens. Anything the eye makes contact with consistently, the mind, the mind, listen to me carefully. What your eyes makes contact with, it forces your mind to begin to think on that reality. Now watch this. It is not the thinking about it. It is an incubation that starts happening in the realm of the spirit. Now, the Holy Ghost knows the solution. Are we together now? You meditate, not just by closing your eyes alone, because sometimes you close the physical eyes, but you are still seeing. Are we together now? And so, that's the reason why you pray well in the night, because there are few distractions. Your eye is seen, but you just see black and white. This color sometimes can create noise. It is an enemy to meditation. Are we together? Go and close a room and sit quietly and play worship and see what happens to you. Where you are not seeing the speaker, Nepa took light and you are using your phone to worship and you pray they don't bring light because it's doing something to you. This eye is a transmitter. The same way you have a radio wave. Watch this. Not just your ears. This eye, the creation of a radio wave is in the similitude of the way God designed men to walk. That you lift an antenna and it starts receiving. The, before you, the goal is to get that sound to your radio. Is that true? But you lift up something. That something is your eyes that when you begin to make contact with the word of god i don't mean reading it just looking open thou my eyes that i may behold wondrous things what did david know so you are making contact and all of a sudden let me tell you what will happen very soon your eyes will stop seeing you are looking but you are no longer seeing your mind is what takes over have you seen that happen that you are reading something and for hours you keep reading the same line you can't move forward that's because something more superior than your reading is distracting you in that case worrying the eyes then your ears 
these things are great i'm showing you notice that you have a selection of songs in your phone or whatever you never sit down particularly to hear them but after hearing them five or six times you know the next song and you can sing along if they ask you to sing it on your own now you can't sing but once they play it you can follow it and sing these are systems the eyes is a very deep and dangerous mystery yes he told the man at get beautiful look at us use your eyes i'm about to talk to you i thought you said give me your ears he said look at us steadfastly and he looked at them and he said now you are seeing what was the requirement of elijah receiving from elijah not if you can hear me if you can was he not looking at him this is your bible i'm not reading an occult book this is your bible when jesus was le was levitating to heaven the bible says they kept looking at him their eyes stayed on him until the clouds received him something happened to them could it be that the only thing you have been doing with your eyes is to just look around no that's why you don't remember the faces of blind people because you cannot see their eyes the 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 part that makes your face recognizable is your eyes Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like a candle, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like a candle, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light my light. If I see Apostle Felix, even though there are thousands of people here, I know that he's here because of the power of sight. Put off the light. I can bump into him and not even know. That was the true light that lighted every man. That was the true light that lighted every ministry. That was the true light lord where is my place where is my portion in south africa where is my portion in in the global events of things you are doing you are a man of god it's time to stop going around just roaming around lord where is my portion what is it show me reveal to me what is the jurisdiction of my relevance and contribution as far as your program is concerned listen god never designed for just a few people to be celebrated in life and ministry at the expense of others but you are at the mercy of the correctness of your sight jeremiah 1 verse 11 jeremiah 1 verse 11 moreover the word of the lord came unto me saying jeremiah I have spoken to you and you have heard me but it's not your ears i need alone it says what seest thou and jeremiah said i see a rod of an almond tree the reply verse 12 thou has seen correctly it means you can see wrongly it is possible to see men as trees it is possible to see your destiny helper as an enemy it is possible to see a prophet as your brother thou has seen correctly it says for i will hasten my word that you have seen not my word that is available the one you have seen amplified says for i am alert and active watching over my word to perform it listen please sit down you see what makes others to expand and increase 
whether in ministry or in business, it is not just because God decided to handpick them as against others. They found out that your dominion in this kingdom is predicated upon your ability to hear and your ability to see. Are we together now? And they did what Mary did. Now, pay attention. Do you know what Mary did? Mary waited upon the Lord. Do you know what it means to wait upon the Lord? To wait upon the Lord is not just to fast. <laughs> to wait upon the Lord means to honor his person to the point that if he does not speak and give you a direction, you are not moving. Moses, Moses said, do not let us depart from here if your presence will not go with us. In other words, I am not ready to labor in vain. I know, I know the risk that I will incur sojourning without the guarantee of your presence. He said, we, will, we are in a hurry. We want to get to the other side. But be rest assured, we are not such in a hurry as to go without you. Let me tell you the truth. Those who run are those who wait. It's a mystery in this kingdom. The secret of speed is to master the art of waiting. This is the secret behind the grace and the glory of great men. Those who seem to be running at a speed that cannot be explained are people who have mastered the art of the altar. They know the value of waiting until his word comes. Remember, prophet Samuel as a baby, the first thing he did to hear the voice of God was he slept close to the ark. The secret of hearing him is to make sure you are not far from the ark. Hmm above the cherubims below the mercy seat there i will meet with you for as long as your spiritual life and your work with god is just a necessary activity i need to hurry up and make money when i come back i will bribe god with five or ten minutes of time forget about increase and forget about enlargement listen carefully when i teach you the other factors I will be showing you something very profound. You want the seeing eye and you want the hearing eye. The price is all of God. You must seek him more than life. You must seek him. Listen, you must forget about the subject of enlargement. Forget about the subject of ministry. Forget about the subject of money and business. This is how to have all the things I just mentioned. You must forget about them and there must be only one person who is the object of your obsession. For when you find him, you will find it. When he calls men, he does not call men to follow it. Apostle Felix, he says, follow me and I will make you. There are many people today, everything they want is just physical results of increase and all of that. And there's nothing wrong except that in the economy of God, in order to get anything and for it to profit you, you must forget about it and focus on the giver and the owner. Because in this kingdom, we are not owners. Owners are rebels. If you ever become, I know that it's called an ownership conference. And I understand what you mean. Are we together? In terms of management and physical responsibility. But let me tell you this. Listen carefully. We are stewards. A steward is a trustee. I listened to something you said that was very profound, Apostle Felix. How that you, were, you dropped your car to pick up the land for this ministry. It blessed me so much. I said, that's right. That you can throw away everything literally and say, Lord, if it is for your house, if it is for your glory, if it is for your fame, there are many of you sincerely, I hate to be a bearer of bad news. You are not ready for kingdom, wealth, and prosperity. Not this version of you. No, sir. 
I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Forgive me. There are many of us who are not ready for the kind of increase we are praying for. I know you are ready when it does not matter to you again. I know you are ready when the only one that matters is God. In the beginning, God. Not in the beginning, things. Not in the beginning, anointing. Not in the beginning, power. Not in the beginning, gifts. As wonderful as these things are, they only draw their relevance to your life to the degree to which it becomes the epicenter of your focus. Show me a man whose obsession is just acquiring things. I show you a man who is a risk to himself and to others. Mary had many things to do with her time. But she forgot everything and she kept looking. It takes time to know God. It takes time to find him. The way you create that time is by placing value on him above every other This sermon thing. was downloaded from www.spiritnerds.org. Let every other name fade away. Let every other name fade away. Until there's only you. Let every other name fade away. Let every other name fade away. Listen. If there is any secret behind the life of this man you see by the privilege of God's grace, I will tell you. It is because by the Spirit of God, he brought me to a point where sincerely without any sense of pride, there is absolutely nothing in this life, nothing in this life that sustains the power to take his place I will close down ministry a thousand times and I'm not just saying this because I'm on stage you want to know the secret behind the jealousy of God invested in certain men vet their passion for him not their passion for his hand their passion for his heart my son give me your heart Hallelujah. There are testimonies I cannot begin to share. They will sound like pride. But when you get to that realm, you see, the Bible says, no eye has seen, no ear has heard, neither has it come into the heart of man what God has in store. It defines those who will be beneficiaries of it. For them that love him, not them that pray to him, not them that study scriptures, them that love him there are realms that only lovers can understand the dynamics in that realm there are rooms in your house that even your family members may not have access to the inner chamber of the king is for those who love him listen there is a way that you can love the lord so much he will take someone's prayer request and give you as a gift Believe me, I know what I'm saying. Oh dear. Hallelujah. One time a group of gentlemen, it was a real estate company. They came to me and they came to greet me and say, Apostle, we entered a covenant with God that anywhere around the world we build our estate, your house must be there. I don't want to tell you how many houses they have built. I've not even gone to them. And yet many people would not pay attention to God. You ask them why. They say, listen, I need to complete this project. You complete it by forgetting about it and focusing on it first. Because if it does not speak, there is nothing to hear. If it does not reveal, there is nothing to see. But it is only in his light that we see light. Have you placed that kind of value on the Lord Jesus? Businessmen, do you have times when you shut down? Doesn't matter who is calling you and it doesn't matter what project is on ground. Let your allies know 
that before you became, there was one who made you. Now, see, unbelievers understand this. There are times you call them and they tell you, I'm doing all kinds of incantations. They don't hide it because it is the basis of their strength and confidence. There are many men of God by reason of this teaching. You need to shut down on many aspects of ministry and renew your relationship. You have become a preacher, no longer a lover of Jesus. There are realms where preachers cannot enter. There are realms where businessmen cannot enter. There are time, realms where no matter what your Greek and Hebrew is, you cannot enter. It takes your pass is your love. That you get to that point and you are not talking things. You are talking him. Lord, I'm here because I love you. I'm here because you are everything to me. You are here because you are my life and you are my wisdom. I love you more than money. I love you more than cars and houses. Let everything truly fade. And God says, in the midst of this plenty, and say, Lord, I remember you. You picked me from nothing and you brought me to this level. If you never lift me, I am still grateful. The hearing ears and the seeing eyes.